What's up guys, welcome to another Mark Hashim video. Ahlou sahla fikum ayyuha al-mushahidin, benvenuts a todos. Hoje vamos fazer comparações entre o Líbano e o Brasil. Comparing cultures. Yalla, but first, random facts of the day. Fact number one. Lebanon's national dish is kibbe, a delicious piece of meat mixed with onions and brol and stuffed with more meat. And it turns out it's quite popular in Brazil itself as a result of Middle Eastern immigration. So now we have a Brazilian version known as kibbe that is actually stuffed with requeijão, a type of creamy cheese that's similar to ricotta cheese. Now that is delicioso. Fact number two. Brazil's national dish is feijoada, a type of stew that mixes beans with beef and pork. Kind of like Lebanon's very own fasolia riz. Beans, meat, and rice. Fact number three, Lebanon's population is about 4 million, whereas Brazil is over 200 million. But according to the Brazilian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, there are about 7 million people of Lebanese descent in Brazil. Lachsa, lachsa. يعني في لبنانية بالبرازيل أكثر ما في بلبنان. فاه سيريو؟ والله عم بحكي جد، شو هذا يا زلمة مش معقول؟ سيريو؟ سيريو؟ خلاص، طلع بوكا. All right, now let's talk about some points. For example, appearance. Appearance is important for the majority of Brazilians, so that you might see that even casual dress is a bit more formal or stylish than in other countries. And Lebanon is very similar in that regard, because it's all about looking good and feeling good about yourself and presenting yourself well, right? It's a very social thing, and you're speaking through the image that you're projecting. But in some cases, it causes social pressure to always be perfect and look perfect and have a perfect image, which is the case with both countries. Plastic surgery is very common in both countries. Brazil has a lot of plastic surgeons, and so does Lebanon. I know in Lebanon you can get credit or loans specific for plastic surgery. Next, values. Both Lebanese and Brazilians value family and social connections and hospitality, so they'll welcome you like family, which leads us to the point of doing business through connections, all the way to nepotism. From what I've seen, in Brazil, getting somebody you know or connection to get inside is common and sometimes even encouraged. In Lebanon, it's no different. We even have a name for it. Luasta. Kind of like being the middleman. The idea is connections, getting people you know and trust on the inside. But that can also lead to corruption. Next, both countries generally have traditional household and family values influenced by religion, but Brazil is a bit more liberal in certain areas, whereas Lebanon is more conservative. For example, take dating. Brazilians are more open in that area. Dating and flirting and dancing with strangers is more common, whereas in Lebanon, last I witnessed, they'll generally dance with people they know, because they're worried it will give them maybe a bad image, or make them look easy. It's usually like under the radar. So in that area, Lebanon and Brazil are very different. Next point, time. In Brazil, people are usually laid back, and that includes time, so they're casual about it. It's not uncommon to see people arrive late, and it's not a big deal, and it's the same thing in Lebanon. People are casual about time, no need to stress and be mathematical about it. Ade. Yes, I got a vein. Yeah, right. Next point, Fuchibol or soccer if you prefer. Now we know that that sport is an essential part of Brazilian culture. It's religious. In Brazil, they love the Brazilian team. In Lebanon, they also love the Brazilian team. I've seen a lot of Lebanese people root for Brazil, probably because of the historical link and the amount of Lebanese descendants in Brazil. Makes sense. Next, problem solving. In Brazil, there's a concept known as jeitinho, o jeitinho brasileiro, finding a way around a rule without actually breaking it. The Brazilian way. Basically circumventing the system. For example, if you're waiting in line and you want to skip, you don't actually skip, you just find somebody you know and you join them. So you didn't technically break the rule. Jeitinho ah, Brasileiro. Lebanon has a similar rule-bending, loophole-finding attitude, but they'll take it a little further, like actually breaking a rule fighting the system. For example, when cameras were set up to take pictures of license plates for speeding tickets, well, what did the Lebanese do? They started covering their license plates. Mm. Fight the system. 
We're not paying for no speeding tickets. Lebanese people are rebels. Now also when it comes to problem solving, Brazilians are usually laid back. You know, they want to avoid conflict. They won't usually yell or raise their voice. Lebanese, on the other hand, raise their voice as a way of living. They'll avoid not yelling, even if they're happy. Basically, Brazil, don't yell even if you're angry. Lebanon, yell even if you're not angry. And always be ready for the mashkal. بدعم المشكل ما 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 بركي مشكل خيي بدعم مشكل أنا هلا اليوم no, tranquilo cara não tem que fazer um mashkal so there you go covering some points between the wonderful countries of Brazil and Lebanon don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified if there's something you'd like to add please leave it in the comments share with us what you know agora em português okay vou tentar faz algum tempo Obrigado a todos. Não esqueçam de deixar um like, um comentário e se inscrever no meu canal para mais vídeos de cultura e comédia. É, tá bom? Horrível. Well, I tried. Chu nsit na nhaena yani. Kilek shi kilme alarabe. Tayeb. Idgatu ala libham almurtafa' wa tabi'uni li mazid alvideo. Hayk badak. Araf. Alright, you guys take care, and I'll see you next time.